Hello, I'm Chris. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the forward bay parking maneuver. It's easy to overcomplicate it, so I'll be keeping it as simple as possible. You'll see how to do the exercise safely, and if the examiner asks you to do it, pass this part of the driving test. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, then please do, as it really helps us make more videos. The objective is to drive forward into any bay on the left or right, finish within the lines, while looking out for other car park users. Now the examiner won't tell you which bay to use, that's up to you. If you want to drive into a bay on the right, position your car to the left, well away from the bay you want. That way, you'll have more space to swing in the bay and straighten up. But don't drive through the bays on the left though. To make it easier, Look for an empty bay that hasn't got parked vehicles next to it. And just in case you were wondering, you can't drive through this bay and finish in this one. Now this is when I need to start steering into the bay. You can stop at this point if it helps. I've got the first line of the bay I'm aiming for looking like it goes into the car here. When to turn for you might be slightly different as it depends on the car, your height, seating position and how fast you drive and steer but it will look similar when you look for your reference point make sure you sit in your normal driving position if you lean forward then your reference point will look different and it won't work this is the part that a lot of new drivers forget and that's to observe for others going past before turning into the bay i'll check the interior mirror right hand mirror and as the mirrors don't show everything also a quick shoulder check, signal if there's anyone nearby, and as soon as I move forward slowly, I'll steer full lock to the right, maximum steering. Once you're in the bay, and nearly straight, start straightening the steering back to the left. You can tell when the car is straight in the bay, as whatever's in front of you, such as a wall, line, or curb, runs parallel with the dashboard. When this line touches the bottom of the mirror, I'll stop, as I don't want to drive into the bay in front. Although you might have to stop a bit sooner if there's something in front of you, like a vehicle sticking out into your bay, or some overgrown bushes. Parking brake on, select neutral. You can open the door to check you're in the bay if you wanted. This looks okay, but if you're not in the bay, then you're allowed to reverse to readjust it back in, once you've observed, and it's safe to do so of course. If you have to correct the manoeuvre on the driving test, then it would normally be a driving fault, or a minor as they're commonly called. But at least you won't get a serious fault for parking out of the bay. Just don't forget to keep checking around for others, and stop if anyone gets near your car. But then continue if it's safe. Now the examiner will ask you to reverse out of the bay either to the left or right. It can be harder to see when reversing out of the bay, especially if there's other vehicles next to you so be careful. You must observe all around for others before you reverse, and don't forget to look through the rear window, over your shoulder, before you move. If there's vehicles next to you, then don't steer straight away, as you'll probably hit them. But if there isn't any, then you can steer immediately. Slowly start steering at this point if there's vehicles next to you. Don't forget to keep observing for others, stop if anyone gets near you, but continue if it's safe. Steering a little to the left before stopping makes it easier to move off again, as the wheels are now already pointing towards where I want to go next. Now have a quick check around to make sure it's safe, and drive on. If you want to drive into a bay on the left, then check mirrors, quick shoulder check, Make sure there's no one coming, and move well over to the right if it's safe, without driving through the other bays. This makes it easier to turn into the bay, as you'll have more space to swing round, and straighten the car. The reference point when to turn, will look the same as when we did it to the right. The first line of the bay you want, disappearing into the car here. Again, it might look slightly different for you. Before turning, it's essential that you check the interior, and left hand mirror, Plus a quick shoulder check for anyone going past you. Signal if it would benefit anyone, and turn full lock, maximum steering to the left, 
with the car moving very slowly to make it easier. Once you're in the bay and nearly straight, start straightening the steering back to the right. From my seating position, I'll stop when the bottom of this wall or line touches the bottom of this mirror. Don't forget, you might have to stop a bit earlier if there's an obstruction in front of you. The same as before, you're allowed to open your car door if it's safe to check you're in the bay. And if you're not, observe all around, including through the rear window, reverse, readjust, then observe all around again, drive forward, and stop. This would normally be a driving fault, but at least it's not a serious. Now the examiner tells you which way to reverse out. It's really important to observe all around before reversing to make sure it's safe, including over your shoulder, through the rear window. And that's how you do the forward bay parking manoeuvre. As usual, thanks a lot for watching. If you found it helpful at all, and I hope you did, then please don't forget to subscribe as it really helps us make more videos. Have a look at our free learning to drive modules on our website. They cover all the driving test manoeuvres, and it can save you time and money. In the meantime, keep safe on the road and bye for now.